This video gives an overview of the BooBox 4 prop controller. The BooBox 4 can control up to four devices. It also has input triggers for two inputs. That means that you can trigger two different programs with the BooBox 4. It has a record button and four programming buttons to record your scene. It also has a line in jack, which is eighth inch for recording audio into the BooBox 4, a line out eighth inch jack for hooking up powered speakers or an amplifier and speaker. It also has a powered speaker output for hooking up small speakers such as horn speakers and speakers that don't have an amplifier. There's a volume speaker adjust knob on the right hand side as well. There's also an optional ScareMaster programmer port. This port is not required unless using the ScareMaster programmer. In this section I'm going to show you how to use the BooBox 4's audio capabilities. To begin recording sounds, you'll need the following connected to the BooBox 4. A set of powered speakers, such as a computer speaker, which has the 8 inch male jack on the back, that plugs right into the line out on the BooBox 4. Or, a non-amplified speaker, such as this horn speaker, screwed into the speaker connector on the BooBox 4. For this demonstration, we're going to be using this simple horn speaker. We're able to use this inexpensive horn speaker with the BooBox 4 because the BooBox 4 has a built-in amplifier which will amplify the sounds going to the speaker. In order to record into the BooBox 4, you're going to need a line level source, such as a CD player, computer, iPod, tape deck, etc., connected to the BooBox 4's line in port using a 3.5 millimeter stereo audio cable, such as this one. Make sure it's a stereo cable, and you can tell because it'll have three rings on each side of the connector. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this cable into line in. And the other end is going to go into the back of a computer. Once the two are connected, press play on the audio source. You should be able to hear the sound faintly through the connected speaker. Do not turn up the source volume so your speakers are really loud. Use the sound only as a guide so you know when to start and stop recording. Once the sound is recorded and the BooBox 4 plays it back, it will be much louder than it is now. You'll have to experiment with the volume of your sound source to see what gives you the best recorded sound quality. If the source is too loud, the recording will sound distorted. If it's too low, it will sound poor, and you may not be able to turn the sound up loud enough, even with your speakers at full volume. Do a few test recordings. Keep adjusting the source volume and then previewing the sound from the BooBox 4 until you're happy with the quality and volume level. Recording a sound. The BooBox 4 can have three different sounds in it. There's one sound that plays continually when the BooBox 4 is idle. This is called the ambient sound. There's also a trigger 1 sound and a trigger 2 sound which are activated by the respective triggers. The input 1 sound must always be recorded first. Once you are happy with how it sounds, you can move on to recording the input 2 sound and then finally the ambient sound. To record a sound, press play on the audio source and then on the BooBox 4 Hold record and press 1 to record the input 1 sound. To stop recording, press record again and the record light will turn off. Repeat until you're happy with the result. 
to record the input number two sound, hold record and press the number two. And to record the ambient sound, hold record and press the number three. Previewing a sound. Make sure the audio source is stopped, and then on the BooBox 4, press 1 to preview the input 1 sound. Press 2 to preview the input 2 sound. Press 3 to preview the ambient sound. Press the same button again to stop the sound, or allow it to play through, and it will stop on its own. If you don't want a sound in a certain position, just record silence for less than three seconds. If a sound is less than three seconds in length, then the BooBox 4 won't attempt to play it. For example, if you don't want an ambient sound, first make sure the audio cable is connected to the line in jack, and then hold record and three, and then within three seconds press record again. 